Hello, warlocks of all shapes and sizes! My name is Chance, welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the 37th episode of our Eldritch Invocation series. Today we're going to be taking a look at Shroud of Shadow. My goodness, I really like this one. Um, essentially, it's uh, it's almost exactly a step up from one with shadows, uh, which we've covered in an earlier video. Um, so this is kind of one step up from that. Uh, in any case, uh, let's take a look at the description and get a better idea of what I mean. Um, there is a prerequisite, and that is you have to be at least 15th level, so it's one of those top tier invocations. Uh, though that is 15 levels of Warlock, by the way, not combined levels, so just bear that in mind. Uh, and it reads as followed, you can cast invisibility at will without expending a spell slot. So cool. Needless to say, this is, uh, this is a game changer and this changes the tactics of a lot of DMs and kind of how they view the game as a whole, uh, at least in regards to your party. Um, that being said, uh, let's take a look at the overview. So make yourself or another creature invisible until they attack or cast a spell. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the rules behind invisibility, broken down, it's, it's roughly this. Invisible creatures are impossible to see without the aid of magic or a special sense. Uh, there's advantage on their attack rolls and disadvantage on attack rolls aimed at them. So, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Um, it might be worth noting that this is a concentration spell, so you can only affect one creature at a time. Um, it's still super cool you can do it at will though. Uh, that being said, you know, I just think this is great. Invisibility is kind of broken in terms of how 5e goes about it. Depends on your, D and, or depends on your DM's interpretation, don't get me wrong, and uh, what they house rule in there, but for the most part, I think it's incredible. Um, that being said, if you can think of any ways to kind of get the most bang for your buck out of this, um, any interesting tactics or strategies or um, just, just cool things in general, uh, please let me know down in the comments below. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much, guys, and as always, have a great day and happy casting.